die quickly. That's right. The Republicans want you to die quickly if you get sick. Now, the Democrats have a different plan. The Democrats say that if you have health insurance, we're going to make it better. If you don't have health insurance, we're going to provide it to you. If you can't afford health insurance, then we'll help you to afford health insurance. So America gets to decide. Do you want the Democratic plan or do you want the Republican plan? Remember, the Republican plan, don't get sick. And if you do get sick, die quickly. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Mr. Jones of North Carolina. Congressman Burton will be recognized for five minutes. I can't believe what I just saw. I can't believe it. First of all, it's totally wrong. And secondly, it's making fun of a very important issue for the American people. We do have health care problems in this country, and we need to solve those health care problems. But coming down here and making light of the issue by coming up with a lot of silly talk is, is just ridiculous. The Republicans have a bill, H.R. 3400, which deals with the problem in a way that does not get the government in between the patient and their doctor. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle want to come up with a government plan where the government starts making all the rules and taking a major place in between the patient and their doctor. And you know, I like to say to my friends across the country, if they happen to be watching and my colleagues, and I know I can't do that, I can't address anybody except my colleagues, but if I were talking to the people across this country, I'd like to ask them, what government agency has done such a great job that you'd want to rely on them for your health care? Just start naming a couple. And what, what government agency has done such a good job that they're not spending much more money than you anticipate they're going to spend? And then think about health care. The projections are that the Democrats' plan is going to cost between one and three trillion dollars over the next ten years. Money we do not have. Money that your kids and your grandkids are going to have to pay for with higher taxes and inflation. And they say that we don't have a plan. We do have a plan. We want to allow businesses to band together so they can get the best rates, like major corporations. We want businesses to be able to go across state lines to buy insurance at the best rate possible. We want to set up medical savings accounts so people will have the money of their own, tax-deductible money put into the account by them and their, employer, and their employer, and they can use it as they see fit for medical coverage. And then if there's a major expense above the three or two or $3,000 of their money that's in the bank, you can have a major medical policy. It would save an awful lot of money. There's no question that we have maybe 10 million people in this country who are indigent, who don't have health care, that we need to deal with. Not the illegal aliens, not the people who elect not to have insurance, but the 10 million people who really don't have it and need it. And in our plan, H.R. 3400, we address that. And we could solve this problem for a few billion dollars, not trillions of dollars, like the Democrats talk about. And in their original bill, they talk about we're waiting for people to die. In their bill, they had uh, a, a, a phrase in there that said, or a paragraph in there that said, you should have regular meetings with, with paraprofessionals uh, to uh, talk about end-of-life planning. End-of-life planning. That's something that should be between an individual, their pastor, and their family, and their doctor. I'll be happy to yield to my colleague from Tennessee. Can they do that? Republicans want uh, that our health plan is to hope that all the people die quickly. Is one, I've been here 21 years, and that is about the.